Blessings, Lafayette family and Facebook friends. My daily message for Friday, September 17th. And I remind you that daily messages, Sunday worship, lots of great stuff are at fountainchurchtallahassee.org. And join us every week for Sunday worship at 1030 a.m. My scripture is Proverbs 11, verse 3. The integrity of the upright guides them, but the unfaithful are destroyed by their duplicity. This is the word of the Lord. Oh, how often we as human beings are two-faced. We respond one way in a set of circumstances, and if the circumstances change, we respond in another way. Often we don't have the courage of our convictions. Other times we don't stand up for the things we know are right because, well, we just don't want to expend the energy. That's what duplicity is in common practice. Well, one of my favorite stories about Imperial Rome was when Caesar had defeated Antony and he was moving through the crowds of Rome as the crowds cheered for his wonderful triumph. At one spot in the crowd, a man came forward and he had two large birds and he presented one to Caesar. And the bird had been trained to say, Hail Caesar, victorious! Well, Caesar was quite impressed and he paid the man a pretty penny for the bird. But as he returned to his chariot, he had a thought. He walked back and demanded to hear what the other bird said. The other bird repeated, Hail Antony, victorious! Well, history doesn't record what happened to the man or the birds, but it reminds us that our triumphs and our travails, our achievements, our setbacks, really the world is never going to care too much. And we will face duplicity at every turn if we are not wise and careful. So trust in the Lord. Build your relationships in Jesus Christ. Find the people that lift you up, not the people that are just looking for a relationship that benefits them. And let's hail our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, not only because Christ was victorious, but because through Christ we have the victory. Let us pray. Lord, do not allow us to be two-faced and do not allow us to fall for the world's deceptions. We pray that we would put our trust in you and that we would live as becomes Christians. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ.